Welcome to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's treasure trove video, we're going to be unboxing five vintage blind boxes. This is such a fun theme, and you'll see that it's predominantly Pop Mart blind boxes for today's video. But we do have one Finding Unicorn one in there, and it's a collab with the artist Agan, and this is the character Yehaw, and the series is called American Vintage. You'll see on the front it says 1980s. And our second blind box is Hachi Popo, and this is Celebration. And this series really reminds me of vintage toys for some reason. And speaking of vintage toys, we also have the Monsters the Toys series. And these are really like 40, 30 style toys, super, super old style. And then we have Taboo, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe. And this series is so cool, I'm so excited to open it up. And on the end we have Bobo and Coco, and this is vintage Zaka. I'm not 100% sure, it also says Old Times Variety Shop, and I definitely think this looks like a vintage storefront, it's really cool. But those are our 5 blind boxes for today's video, let's go ahead and get into unboxing. I think the first one we'll have a look at is Hachi Popo, just because this is the least vintage one. I think the theme for this series is just supposed to be celebration, but I don't know, it's kind of all over the place. We do have 12 options and one secret edition, and I thought this series was really cute. It definitely seems like it's about a little boy. There's quite a few in this series that I would be excited to get. I really like Prince Charming. We also have Jingle Bell, and we have a few balloon ones that look really fun. I think there's quite a few in this series that I wouldn't mind getting. I already have Wishing Star, which we have right at the top, so I hope I don't get a duplicate. And I thought a lot of these kind of fit that vintage toy theme, so I thought it'd be fun to open up in this video. Let's go ahead and open up our Celebration series. I'm so interested to see who we get. This box is really heavy. And I think I feel an accessory that's outside of the bag. Ooh, I don't even know which one this is. Do you think this is big enough to be that elephant one? Let's have a look and see. One, two, three. Oh, oh, I don't even know this one. Oh, it looks like it's like a bread bowl maybe. Or maybe it's a hot air balloon. It kind of looks like a hot air balloon. It doesn't really stand up on its own, so let's have a look at the box to see the accessory. Oh wow, there's so much. It has a bunch of flowers and then this little holder. And we got Give You Flowers. I really like the design for this card. It looks like a ticket. Very, very fun. Although I think it makes me even more confused what the theme of this series is supposed to be. Our cute Hachi Popo is sitting inside of this flower basket and we do have three loose flowers that go inside of it. I think this basket is really cute. I love the bow on it. It's adorable. Although our figure is a bit unbalanced though, so if you don't have the three flowers in the back, it'll actually fall over, which isn't great. I do like the flowers though, we have three different colors, two different shades of pink and one purple. The flowers are really heavy and really cute, they actually make really adorable accessories, it's too bad you have to display them in the basket. Overall this is a super cute figure though, and I love Hachi Popo, his face is just so adorable. And I think on this one the ears kind of look like elf ears. And I love the tongue sticking out, just so adorable. There's something about this character that I really love. I'm not really a fan of figures that are supposed to be like kids or babies, but I just can't get over how cute of a character this is. Even though it's not one of the ones I wanted, I still really like it and I love this series. I definitely want to pick up more of Celebration, especially because I still haven't gotten some of my favorite ones. So I can definitely see myself opening up more of these in the future. For our second one, let's go ahead and have a look at Vintage Bobo and Coco. To me, it definitely has like a 70s vibe, which I think is really cool. And we have the typical 12 options and one secret. 
I bought this when I was in Calgary from a store there because it was like 50% off, maybe even more. I think they only picked it up for like $7. I'm not sure who my favorite is though. This wasn't a series that really called to me. Although maybe the rabbit one called Play the Drum would be cute. Or the duckling one. Or the froggy piggy bank. That one is pretty cute. I think these are going to be really fun though. When it comes to Bobo and Coco, I usually don't mind which one I get. I usually think they're all pretty adorable. And I think for this one, I'm just going to open it up on the bottom. Just because I don't want to ruin that really cute top to the packaging. I think it's pretty impossible to tell which Bobo and Coco you got beforehand because they're all the same shapes. But let's have a look and see. This one feels pretty big. One, two, three. Oh, we got the rabbit one. Oh, that's good luck. Oh, I can't believe I ended up getting the first one I said I wanted. And here's our cute card for Play the Drum. I like the card for this series. It looks like a price tag. I'm really picky about what colors I get. So even though we got the rabbit one and I think it's super adorable, I don't think I'm 100% in love with the colors. But I do love how our bunny has texture and it's a bit of a shinier vinyl, which is interesting. I think the texture is super cute and I love the ears and our bunny face. And I like how they made Bobo look like Bobo is drumming, even though, of course, we have no arms. The bunny is definitely my favorite thing about this. I think it's so cute. And our Coco is also super beautiful as well. And our Coco also has our pink textured bunny ears. And I think it's kind of just sitting on like a platform that you would if you were in band. I'm not sure what this figure has to do with a vintage variety shop, but maybe it's a reference to those drummer toys that were super common back in the day. These two are really cute. I think I'll definitely keep them both in my collection, even though they're not 100% my color vibe. If you're really into colors like this though, I think this is a pretty solid series. I don't think I'll be picking up any more of these, but I do think this was really good for the price I paid. I think I got it for like 5 or $7. It was really cheap. And I think next we'll open up the Monster Toy series. I've unboxed this on my channel before. I did get it through a Lucky Bag, and I think I got this one in another Lucky Bag. So I've already gotten one of them. I got the Pull Toy one, so hopefully no repeat. And I thought it was too perfect to not include in this theme. I think my two favorites are Tai Coco in the box, which is like a Jack in the Box toy, and of course our Russian dolls. Those two are definitely the ones I want most from this series, so I hope we get one of them. And of course we have the Secret Edition as well. I don't think I'm a huge fan of any of the other ones though. I would probably give them away if I did end up getting one of the ones that I didn't want. Oh, and I really like the robot one on the front too. I think that's the third one I'm hoping for. This is definitely a cute series if you're into vintage toys though. Let's see who I got. It's actually pretty heavy for a Monsters one. I'm so curious what it is. One, two, three. Oh, we got the clay doll one. I actually thought this one looked really neat. I thought it might be flocked though. It definitely isn't flocked, but it is really cool. And here's our card for a clay doll, and it's supposed to look like an old postcard. I definitely think this one looks kind of like clay. It has like a soft matte texture, and it kind of has that look of Play-Doh. It's pretty neat. And it's such a vibrant purple color. I was tempted to say that this was one of my favorites because I actually didn't think it was that bad. I might actually end up keeping this one. I'm also tempted to give it to my nephew though. I don't know if my nephew would think Lou Boo Boo looked kind of creepy or if he would end up liking it. The two different colored eyes are pretty cool. I think it makes it look slightly more creepy, but I think for Lil Boo Boo, a lot of people already think he's kind of creepy looking, but I do think it is really cool. I definitely wouldn't get more of this series though, just cause I'm not a huge fan of the characters in general. 
I don't mind getting these in lucky bags though. I think they're really fun to open and see who you get. And I think for our fourth one, we're going to do the Finding Unicorn Yeehaw American Vintage one. I'm going to take the plastic off of it first before we have a look at it. Do you find it satisfying the sound of removing the plastic? I really love all the ASMR sounds of an unboxing. Although I don't watch a lot of ASMR unboxing videos, I do definitely like the sound of just everything being unwrapped, although I don't think this one sounds very nice today. Finally, we have it free from the wrapping, and the packaging for this one is crazy looking. So many bright colors. And on the side, you can see the typical 12 options and two secret editions. And this series is pretty crazy. I don't know which one I would go for. The secrets are always really fun. It would be really exciting to get one of the secrets. I do like the look of our mint cone one. Rabbity Acid Girl is also kind of cool. I think Rabbity Candy is pretty crazy looking, but I think that might be a nice present for my best friend. This series is pretty crazy though, definitely not my favorite of the character. I think the colors are just too much for me, too many bold colors. And I can't remember if I bought this one or I got it in a lucky bag, I don't know. But let's go ahead and open it up. We have the thumb hole in the back. And I'm excited to see what the bag looks for this series. I bet it's super crazy. Yep, definitely very crazy. It has a clown on the front of it. I know a lot of people think this character is creepy. I don't normally think it's creepy, but this clown is definitely creepy. I like the blue and the pink though. All right, who did I get? I'm hoping it's the minty cone one. One, two, three. I think we got the one that is supposed to be the one on the bag. And here is our card. We have Rabbity Zero Clown. I'm definitely not scared of clowns or anything like that, but I do find them creepy. We of course have like Pennywise and It, which I don't mind. I think some of the creepier ones I actually think are kind of cool. So I think this one is kind of like a clown that I don't find scary, but I also am not a fan of it. Although I do think the red nose looks pretty funny. But I'm also really picky about what colors my figures are. And as I said, looking at this side, I didn't think any of the colors were really my vibe besides like the minty cone one. So I thought there was a pretty good chance I wouldn't like this figure. I do appreciate all the details though. The clown nose I actually think is pretty cool. And if you didn't know for Yeha figures, they actually have a whole face in the eyes, which I think is very psychedelic and cool. And it is holding a cane in its hand, but it looks like it's upside down. It looks different than the card, which is interesting. To me, it kind of looks like it's holding a balloon that has escaped. I think it would have been cooler if it was holding a balloon. But I'm very curious to know if anyone in the comments was a fan of this one. Definitely for me, I wouldn't pick up more from this series, but there is other Yeha series that I really like, especially the newest one. So I would definitely pick up this character, just not this theme. And we are coming to the end of the video, just one more blind box to go. And I left my favorite for last. We have Taboo, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And these are definitely based off of a particular vintage toy that was popular in the US. These style of toys are really cool, not very popular in Canada. I think this is more of like an American thing, but I do really love the look of these and I think they are so fun. I think I'm pretty excited with whichever one we end up getting, but there's a few that I think are really cute. And The Secret would be an interesting one for us to pick up. I really like this series though. This was definitely the series that I was most excited about, so I'm just really curious to see who we have inside. Alright, let's see who I have inside of this one. 
The box actually feels really light. I thought the figure would be a lot heavier. So maybe I got one of the smaller designs. Although that bag looks pretty big. All right, one, two, three. Oh, we got the UFO one. Oh, this one is cool. And we definitely have an accessory in here. I think it's just gonna be the top. Yeah, we have the top for the figure. And here's our super cute card for the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe. The figure I got was Star Travel Aircraft. And this card is so awesome. Definitely my favorite card we got in today's video. And this figure is super cute. I love how it looks kind of like a puppy face on the StarCraft UFO. And I love that we also have ears as well. I think that is so fun. This figure is so surprisingly light though. I can't even tell you how light this feels. I know back in the day the toys were always like that tin material and were pretty light. I think this figure kind of replicates that weirdly light sensation. And it really looks like it's made out of tin as well, which is cool. I think this entire figure feels lighter than our Bobo and Coco or our monster one, which is really weird. I don't know why that's just like blowing my mind. And of course we can take the top off, but we can't take our cute little girl character out of the actual spacecraft. The UFO is so cool though. It has so many details and it looks so similar to those vintage toys. I really love this one. I think it is so well done and she looks really cute with our black hair. This is just really cool, super vintagey. I love it. Definitely if you collect those vintage toys, I think this is like a must. It's kind of fun to mix in something that's modern but has that vintage inspiration. Such a cool figure and I definitely think I'll pick up more of these. And here's a look at all five of my vintage inspired blind boxes that I opened up in today's video. Clearly you can tell vintage vibe isn't necessarily my vibe. I do collect more retro 80s toys. I don't really care about the toys from like the 70s and older. In terms of things that are vintage that I do like, I do like advertisement like Coke signs, that type of vintage, but I've never really been into vintage toys. So this was definitely not my theme, but I really wanted to do it because I know it's been suggested that I do a vintage theme. And I got a lot of these through Lucky Vague, so I thought let's just go for it and have a look at all of the vintage inspired series. Obviously my favorite was our Taboo one, so awesome. Followed up by Hachi Popo, which was the least vintagey of them. And then I think our Agan and our Monsters one were tied with our Bobo and Coco for third. But let me know down below, did you like this theme? Which was your favorite? Or were these all a skip? I love reading your comments and be sure to give a like and subscribe and I will see you on my next unboxing video. Have a great night.